Okay, what's up, you two? These are my upgrades to my Evo X. I got the teen uh, suspension springs, style springs. This is how they come. This is a one inch drop, one and a half in the back, and one in the front, one inch in the front. So this is how they come. I just got them a couple of days ago. Now, this I got because whenever you drop the Evo, if you want to do it properly to actually gain some performance out of it, you have to get the anti-roll kit from White Line. Because when you drop it a one inch, or when you drop the, the Evo X in general, it tends to get more body roll. So it's actually weird on how that works with that car, but you get more body roll. So you're doing worse than stock when you lower the car. And usually that's not the case but in this instance for the evo x to do it properly and get some performance out of it you to get this kit the s springs which are these they give you you know a nice drop and it gives you some performance it's not as, as stiff it's not as hardcore as their other springs that they have which those do add performance, but it's a really stiff ride. This one's a little more comfortable, and you know, it's it gives you a nice stance, but you are gonna get body roll when you're doing turns. And I like to take my car to the canyon, so I don't wanna be getting body roll and actually having worse performance than OEM, which I think is stupid. If you lower your car, then it's worse than stock don't make sense so to properly do it and to get some benefit from it you get these the white line tie rod kit it's called a front anti-roll kit and the packaging is awesome it's like like a piece of audio equipment and everything about this is quality you can just feel it you can see it heavy so this over here is the last move and link that I need to put on my car it is a front right the passenger front so I ended up um, getting this I was thinking about getting the, the sway bar the front sway bar from white line it comes with the end links but i have these end links already so I'm, I'm gonna see how it works out with these end links the stock sway bar and this stuff for my suspension so after i put all this stuff on i'm gonna go get an alignment um i won't be able to put that one on i would have to take it to a shop because you need to press it in so after all said and done with an alignment, it should feel better than stock, which that is my plan. I want to make it better than before, you know, because that's just how we do. And I take it to the canyon, so suspension upgrades is, is a must. And I plan on getting more horsepower soon on my car, so I want it to handle the horsepower. So you gotta start reinforcing stuff. But I'll make you guys uh, an update video later. I'm just trying to show you guys how everything comes and what's to come.